Test yourself with fire and ice, sea and sand, blood and bile, before your enemies do. Your enemies are ignorance. Your enemies are those forces of entropy of the old harmonic universe number one of dimension three that seek to thwart at every step of your path of ascension the success of your integration of body, mind, and soul. The success of the apotheosis of the body, mind, and soul. Of divinizing matter. Of divinizing your consciousness. Of empowering with self-sovereign, divine, source-connected awareness your body, mind, and soul. The triangle of our existence is our body, mind, and soul. All equally important, all equally congruous and in harmony. Each aspect of our divine awareness to be perfected. That is what apotheosis means, to divinize your consciousness. Your consciousness is housed in your genetic vehicle. Your mind essentially equates to the fourth dimension. Your thoughts, your emotions, all those aspects of our mental body. Our spirit is what touches source and which empowers us as sovereign individuals. There are no middlemen, there are no middle institutions, organizations between us as sovereign, empowered individuals and source. That is the age of Aquarius. That is the age of knowing. We are beyond the age of Pisces, the age of belief, where we have dogmas shoved down our throats. We have institutions and priests and people such as this, politicians, um, telling us what it is to be a sovereign individual, giving our power away. No, we are in the age of knowing. We are in the age of Aquarius, of power, of self-power, self-empowered sovereign individuals connected to source, being creative co-creators, manifesting heaven upon earth. The body, mind, and soul and the perfection thereof is the triangle of existence, the foundation of this new earth. And it's built upon the holy number four, which represents the square of material matter, of, div of matter that has been divinized with the perfection of our body, mind, and soul. We are entering into a new harmonic reality. That is what I understand the fifth dimension as. Consciousness. Consciousness connected to source. Consciousness that has been divinized, that has been empowered with source-connected awareness. The square of material existence has been mastered. This third dimension has been mastered. Your lower animal nature, the lower three chakras, the energy vortices, mastered. They have been cleansed. They have been, um, they have been basically mastered. And once we do so, we are, we have entered into self-sovereign existence. That's harmonic in the harmonic universe number two, a new hired harmonic dimension of being. We are in a new harmonic reality, and we define what it is to be enlightened. Meaning, enlightened. Doesn't mean, yo, well, you, you're, you're uh, held accountable to have to know everything. No, you're integrated. You have integrated your body, mind, and soul. There are no more fragments out there. You have fully claimed all of your energies, your power, your soul fragments. You are living authentically. You are living powerfully as a self-empowered, divine, divinely inspired individual. And we define, according to our unique soul path, what it is to be enlightened, to be integrated. And we now have built a sturdy foundation, a sturdy platform upon which further growth and sovereignty takes place. And we have to dispense with the distractions of the lower harmonics, the lower frequencies, the lower energies. And, and always we have to turn away from the battles of the third dimension and turn towards the sovereignty of the fifth dimension. Turn towards the light. 
dispense with the distractions, and build our new solid foundations on the basis of our new sovereign ascended status. The new world, the new earth must be formed on this principle. Every soul is fully independent and a divine sovereign being. Align with your highest evolutionary path. Fully embrace this new harmonic system of sovereignty so that we as a collective can navigate this time of change from the Kali Yuga to the Satya Yuga, the new, the new golden age. This evolutionary portal that we are being gifted with on the 8th of April, this eclipse, that is what really, what's the old guard, what all this fundamental Christians and, and religions, they're all trying to get everybody scared and oh my God, oh my God, that is, that is more of the same. That is more of the disempowering energies of the old system because this is an opportunity, this portal of this eclipse portal on April 8th is an opportunity to evolve, to connect ourselves to source, to our higher intelligence and evolutionary portal. This source is meant, this eclipse portal is meant for us to evolve as an, an enlightened species of the new earth, as homo luminous, as metahumans, as new divinely inspired and empowered sovereign beings that will ensure the rapid acceleration of global sovereignty of all sovereign individuals in full possession of Christ consciousness. We define what it is to be enlightened. This is our unique soul path up to each individual where we co-create our own version of heaven upon earth. Now, if you stay tuned uh, thus far in this video, uh, I did a little kind of live concert last night. It was just a test run. But the main thing was is that I held myself to this that I mastered my own nervousness or ego, you know, oh, I might mess up and, you know, but that's, that's what we meant are, are meant to do as co-creators is to challenge ourselves. And I had uh, shared a quote from Hannibal. Uh, he was the bane of the Roman em empire, uh, Hannibal, uh, uh, Car Carthage. And, you know, anyway, he had elephants in his armies and he went through the Alps in the winter and surprised the Romans. But that was a quote where we must test ourselves and, and it's a type of a warrior attitude, you know, a type of challenge where we, where we, I mean, to be a co-creator is, is responsible. To, to get to harmonic universe number two, to the new earth, it uh, requires being responsible and holding yourself to a path of evolution, of, of continual betterment. You know, I realize sometimes we take two steps back to go forward, uh, you know, and, and everything has its yin and yang aspects. Um, so hit the subscribe button and leave this video a thumbs up as it indicates to the algorithm that you are rising in your metahuman consciousness. Namaste and maskaram.